Hassan Kim takes the ball. And how has he done it? Done it all year with that high fastball. They don't hit that ball all that well. And this is uh, newsworthy. We got Stackhouse to play along with the pitch type there. First time it's been labeled. It is written. I like that that color too. There's a strike two and one. Lime slurve has faced him three times and beat him three times. So I'm once in April. So three one to Hassan Kim. Fastball is in there. The count is full. Are we going to go? I think we found the call for it last yeah. night. I think the dynamite stays. It's a leadoff walk. And for Juan said the but what he hasn't done is what he's doing right now. There goes Kim on a fly ball to right field. Kim will need to hustle back. His bat waits for it to come down, makes the grab. Fastball finds the out. Kim at first, one away. Rios deals and Machado pokes one into center field that'll drop in for his first hit of this series. Well, here's where Arias has been number one in baseball. We're a lot of categories. Basically, what it breaks down to is of every making his 30th start of the year tonight. Some traffic against him in the first inning. His one, two. Two, two. Roll it up. Kim in second. Machado at first. 2-2 two, two is outside. And the count is full. Arias battled. His payoff is in there for strike three. Fastball gets Drury. Looks. Two on two out. Will Myers came up in this situation in the first inning yesterday. And out an 0-1 from Arias. Myers swings and misses. That one sweeps under his swing. And it's 0-2. Ball one. 20 pitches into this first inning. His one two is that four seamer, but too high. Kim started the inning with a walk. He's at second. Machado at first as this one's fouled off. Backdoor breaking pitch gets him looking. Locks him up with a slurve. To... Left shin. It's something that started on Tuesday in the doubleheader against the D bags. He took a foul ball off of his shin. Yet the scraped up part of it is just kind of staying away from infection. So they're going to give him a few days down and then we should see him back out there, guys. Cornerworth punches a bouncer to short. Turner with a jump throw. In time. Right, we're talking about that last inning. Profar takes a ball. You like the, the postseason. It's one and one. You know, Profar, the 29 year old in his third year with the Padres, fouls this one off. He surged again lately after a long one on one talk with Bob Plate. He's taken off since, hitting 400 over a five-game hitting streak. It's a six-game hitting streak. And it's one-out base runner for San Diego. Backdoor breaking pitch for a strike on Nola. Third, fifth, seventh, ninth. Bob has one hard candy. Fastball misses up, one ball, one strike. Is that a specific hard candy or just a hard candy? They have a green hard candy. Obviously, Oakland's colors. That's a shot in the left past Trey Turner. Base hit for Nola. Back to back knocks for the Padres here in the second. Here in Sandy? Yeah. Take no, it or leave yeah, it. It sounds like it could be. <laughs> Here's the Zokar <laughs> taking low. More of a baked good, good Scott. Okay. Got... Has really taken off over the last month. Here's a bouncing ball that could end the inning. Six, four, low throw. Asong Kim had a leadoff walk in the first inning. Padres have had two base runners in both. In Kim having a much better second season in the major leagues. It's a guy who was 
Great player in the KBO. One of the most hype position players ever to, to a point where he's playing so little that he was pressing every time he got up there trying to prove himself every at bat. Check which is the challenge of trying to sustain it in a long major league season. So he was an everyday guy in Korea but that. 2 2 got him with a fastball. Out his first time tonight. Flies this one the other way. That sends Gallo back to the track. He's got just enough room. Got a fastball by him. Yeah, just to illustrate Julio and his effective velocity. Which you don't always see towards the back end of the season. You see that ramp up as you get into the year. A lot of guys, though, tail off. Good change up. Yeah, I got it. So Smith stays in as the one two comes home and Machado punches his second hit of the game into right. I mean, figure he went back and took a peek in the video room and saw that eh, the call was probably right. Vernon Jury on an 0 1 from Arias. Watches a backdoor breaking pitch and he's in an 0 2 hole. Put up a solid outing. 0 2 pitch. High fastball makes it 1 and 2. Pitchers. Here's his 1 2. It's pulled foul. I mean, there, there are a lot of guys that can. A lot of times with himself. You right. know, pitch doesn't finish exactly where he wants. Another 1 2. Another foul. Arias finally gets him. Sweeps one to the back. In where Will Myers leads off against Julio Arias. And takes ball one. Wild card standings look like the over the Brewers. Magic numbers four. Any combination of four Padres wins and Brewers losses. So the Mets back up by one game in the East. Two and one. They have a three game series coming this weekend. These are the year. And they don't know exactly what that's going to look like. That's a half swing roller. Gavin Lux to get Myers. And you're talking about age and you're talking about wear and tear. But I feel like the Dodgers match up much better against the Mets. I, I don't think the Mets offensively. Phillies, Brewers, like who's getting there? That, that, that's a mess right now. The Phillies play the rest of their games on the road. Two and one on Cronenworth. Yeah, the Phillies, you mentioned finishing up on the road. And from there, first two games of the division series. Let's just say they better hope it's a five city trip for them. Three games. Get the East runner up. Wait. Here's another 2 2. Full count. With a fastball, drop down a little bit to get his constant traffic for both teams. It's a strike on Profar. I think you, you could say that there's a get into trouble, but they're good enough to get themselves out. We can talk about the futility of the hitter. Tapper Smith tests that sore throwing hand box as the Dodgers leave him loaded in the fifth Austin Nola first pitch at the bottom of the fifth inning rips a base hit against Julio Rios and so Nola is now the one edge for Rios is so much more efficient 70th pitch is bunted foul since the start of last year 37 and 10 Azokar up the middle six Four, three for the second time. Second twin killing those two have combined on. First two outs on three pitches. So spinner for a strike on here. Julio's 37 and 10. Just looking at team wins and games Urias has started. Putting up great numbers.
2 2. Kim on the ground to Gavin Lux. And Urias with five scoreless. He do up. And Phillips has started to warm again. Strike one. Went with a fastball and got it by Soto, who flied out to the wall and left. 0 oh 2. In the air to left, routine for Joey Gallo. And Arias gets. Change up, misses away. Machado has two of San. 31 total, and he's knocked in 100. 2 0. Oh. Just missed with the fastball. Gonna be a single. 3 0. Oh. Now this you, you've got to make a pitcher's pitch here. Don't get. Strike one back to a breaking pit. He walked him. Second. One. Sweeps that one inside he's been changing the shape. So and two. There goes Machado. Pitches high. Throw from Smith. In time to get it. Flexen right center field. That's coming on. Plays it on a bounce. Machado stops at third. Out of base hit from Brandon Jury and the Padres. Try to work just like that tonight. First and third one gone. Will Myers pops it up on the infield. Freeman's got it. Two gone. Marius deals. Cronenworth taps it foul. The 0 1. 0 and 2. In no score. His 0 2 pitch. Cronenworth skies it to left. Trey Turner's out. Trey Turner's got it. And Julio. <laughs>